inserting rollover images into Dreamweaver. Well, the first thing you need to do is prepare the images that you want to use as your rollover images. Uh, in this case, I've set out some buttons and made them in Photoshop, and I've created a normal state and an overstate for each of the buttons I want to use on this site. So here's some examples of those. I've created them at the size that I plan to use them, and I've made sure that each button is exactly the same size as the button that it's going to be replacing in the rollover. That done, I go over to Dreamweaver. Actually inserting them into Dreamweaver is very straightforward indeed. You click your cursor to wherever you want them to be inserted. You go to the Insert menu. You choose Image Objects, Rollover Image, and that brings up the Insert Rollover Image dialog box. Uh, I'm going to name the first image I'm going to be placing, and I'm going to browse for the starting point downsize image there and for the over image the one that's going to replace it when the user's cursor is taken over the top there we are downside over you can see the differences between the two I had some alternative text for people using screen readers and I can choose to whether I want to go and put a, a file name to link to here so I could either go and put a URL to make this to link to an external website or I could browse for any other pages I might have on my site if you don't have those prepared already, it doesn't matter, you can go and add these later on. The other thing to notice is that we've got a tick here on the preload uh, rollover image, and that just makes sure that the rollover image, although not initially displayed on the page, downloads as the page downloads as well, so that when the user takes their cursor over the top, it's there ready and waiting to give a quick transition and give us that button rollover effect that we'll be after. So I'm going to click OK there, and there's the button placed into the page. So I'm going to go and preview that in uh, Safari. Go and save the changes as I do that. And here's my button added into Safari. If I take my cursor over the top, like so, you can see that's rolling over nicely. Let's go and do that again. So the process was insert image objects, image placeholder, oh, sorry, roll over image, rather. Name it, find your buttons. Add text for screen readers, and then if you have it ready, you can make a link here, or you can do that later. And I'm going to OK that. Quick glance at it in Safari. Like so. And that's how you go and insert a JavaScript rollover into Dreamweaver. It should be added here that there are other ways of achieving that rollover effect, most notably with style sheets. And there are arguments for using CSS to go and do that rather than using JavaScript. Research, make your choices.